Welcome to the home of hurling. We love, <laughs> we love saying that here in Tipperary. Just to try and explain my own story. When I started off, Tipperary played in All Ireland minor final in 1999 versus Galway in Crow Park. So I was 18 at the time. I washed at home on my own couch. I wasn't part of the panel. But I had a fair idea that there was one or two lads playing for Tipperary on that day. I'd like to mark him in any field in Ireland. So I had some sort of a hope within myself. October 2000, Nicky English, manager of Tipperary Senior Hurling team, rings me to go play in a Southeast League match down in Clare. So got onto the Tipperary Senior panel, and then you go to September 2001, we're in Crow Park and corner forward um, with an All-Ireland medal. So that's how quick that it went from nothing, getting a chance, and just see where it can bring you. I was thinking about it over the last few days, like what did I actually do? There's one thing I did do is that no matter what team I was playing for, let it be Turles Arse's minor team, that's the team I was playing for. I wasn't thinking about the county minor, the county under 21, I wasn't thinking about Tipperary. What's my job today? And I just think something similar to yourselves, lads, that you're part of this team, you're part of this panel. So when you're going home in your car, no matter what county that you're from, don't be thinking about doing a job for Cork or doing a job for Waterford. Do your own job here. The process that you're on, like it does work, like, Kieran Donnelly started, like I noticed football, started with young underdogs. Look where he finished up. The proof is in the pudding there. You can come to set up like this. You can be dragged in from all corners all over Ireland. You can put a team together and you can go back and represent your county. The facts are there. The one thing is like, if there's any question that anyone has there to find the next piece of the jigsaw, like, you know, ask me. As a forward, say if you had a year previously that you're on form, everything's going well, and then you come into the next year and things aren't going the same, the touch isn't there, the points going there. Do you have any advice? I've always said it, no matter what I had as regards a year previous, the easiest thing to do is run, run from A to B as fast as you can. Tackle as hard as you can, be prepared to put in the hooks and the blocks as best you can, and everything else follows. The big thing was always be pucking the ball. Like, I wasn't great, and I didn't like the gym. I didn't like the physical side of it. I, 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 I always wanted the ball, and I always would get a better few pucks off a wall than I would have someone else. So at least the ball, the wall will always give it back to you. It'll always, so, but every chance I got, yeah. And you know yourselves, lads, when you go out for your own few pucks, there's a rhythm that you get into, there's a first touch that you get into, and there's no bit of music off it, like. You know, you know when your touch is right. Uh, what did you do differently that day against Kilkenny? Which day against Kilkenny? <laughs> 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 what, was, what, what was so different that day when you scored the hatch? I got all the luck that anyone would wish for on the most important day, but I suppose I gave myself a chance that I was prepared to run, I was prepared to tackle, but then when you have the likes of then Noel McGrath with vision giving you the ball, I only touched the ball in four or five times that day. LR, just over your career, was there ever a stage where you doubted yourself? Would you have been someone who struggled with that or was it just the case if you got up and just played hard? What I had is I, I had one or two kind of very good friends that I would actually call to when I was going through that period that you're talking about. Second guessing myself, wondering, maybe not getting out with a manager. So it kind of worked out then over the course of the years is that I always said to myself, well, I'm going to give the management something to think about going home with their car that night. So when they're going home with their car, they're going to have to ask themselves the question, have I got a spot for Lar? He's putting his hand up. Surprise the management and throw a little curveball back at them because they're all judging me in different ways. What is something that you always hated that a defender did, say, like obviously playing you from front or little drags off the ball or something like that? Well, I'll tell you what I, what I love the cornerback to do. Well, I'll answer it that way. But what I love the cornerback to do is start thinking about me. You, you have to be thinking about the ball. So a lot of the cornerbacks were thinking that I don't want Lar to get it or I want to cover this or that. And they forgot about the ball, they forgot to play the game. I think you have to play the game, lads. Underdogs, a Borts, the Greenfields Digital Sports Technology. Creators of the Smart Litter.